Hi, everyone. Hello. We'll be starting very soon. We're just waiting for... There we go. There we Hello. go. So we'll, we'll have... Hello. Hello, Hello there. <laughs> oh, is this working? Yeah. Believe that okay. it's working. Yeah. Um, I will I mean, leave you all to it. Make sure, I was trying to make sure that... If everybody can see her screen... Oh wait, I don't. Oh, I'm, I haven't. I haven't turned it on yet. I'm. I'm waiting for people guys, to join. Just be oh, prepared. Gotcha. Her screen <laughs> is amazing. The layout she has is super adorable. It is <laughs> definitely. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm gonna start sharing it in a bit. I'm just waiting for a, more, a bit more people to join so I can also uh, initiate the raffle and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hello. It's so nice to see you all here. I've been looking forward to this. I'm very excited to be here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Q&A with Xiaodi. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'm here with, with Rio Dyes here. Hi, guys. He's going to be helping me on this beautiful Q&A. Yippee. I'm excited <laughs> to be here. This is a very exciting moment. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yes. Have you seen your art? It's amazing. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> and I'm sure all these audience are excited to be here too. I am. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> very excited. <laughs> if we're excited, they have to be excited. <laughs> 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 I'm excited to answer everyone's questions and I'm excited to find out who I'm gonna be drawing for today because I, I thought it would be nice to make a little raffle to go with this. That is such a great idea. I love that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. uh, so let me know when we're good to go and start and I'll ask them to drop their OCs. I, I, I don't know if I should wait for more people. <laughs> Yep, yes. You're, you all can start when you're ready. I can just yep. pen, pen all the OC and entry for you to review. So we could do we could do questions and then OC, or we can do OC and ask questions whilst it's being drawn. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, just, we can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> just let me know no, when you I think said, I, I should start. I mean, we're already we're already live. So, <laughs> alrighty. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I will be doing a raffle during this Q and A. Uh, if you'd like to join it, feel free to drop your OCs in the chat, and I will look at them and say, "Oh, you're pretty," and I'm gonna draw it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, right. drop them in. <laughs> All uh, right. So. Uh, Rio, you do you wish to ask the first question to Dee? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so very basic question. Like, what was your like primary like interest that got you into like drawing and art? I don't really know how to answer to that. It's just like one of those things I have always done. Like, you know how every little kid has their one special interest. Mm. Mine was drawing. I According to my parents, I've been drawing ever since I was able to grab a pencil. <laughs> so just like doing little scribbles and, and <laughs> little scratches on paper. It, it was fun. I have a lot of uh, little doodles from when I was younger. Uh, so I guess that little passion just grew into something more serious, mainly when I found an interest that made me want to make a career out of it. And that was Sonic. How cute. <laughs> <laughs> all right it's my turn so i'll just do a basic question so what would be the best advice you can give to any person who's starting their art journey that would be something that many might find might find kind of uh cheesy or corny but just practice because you will be bad. You will hate your art at some point in your art journey, maybe during years on end. But it's it's that drive that keeps you going to get better, to do something that you're proud of. And I feel like another great tip I could give you is that 
Don't be afraid to take inspiration from artists you like, because that's a huge step. Like taking inspiration doesn't mean that you're stealing or that you're not being original. It just means that you know what you like and you know what you want to achieve. And looking at people and trying to do it yourself many times, like many times, that, that can be great. And eventually we'll be able to do it on your own. I can say that I was unhappy with my art for easily uh, over six years, but I'm very happy and I'm very proud with it now. And that's because I kept going. Speaking of like inspiration, is anyone like any artist in like particular, like that really inspire you? Uh, I really, really look up to Starly. Uh, I think I think their ad is uh, Dr. Starline, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, not only do I love their art, but also the fact that they began as a, a freelance artist just like me and now they're making it out in the comics is a very big inspiration for me. I really want to be able to achieve that. But there's a lot of other artists. Uh, you got Bullet Stations, uh, Reggie. Um, on the top of my head, uh, man, there's way <laughs> too many great artists in this fandom, honestly. Um, I don't think I can name more, but th there's a lot of them that I really love and really look up to. Oh, I, I, I don't know if this counts, but I, I really love Evan, Evan Stanley. Mm -hmm. I love her art. I have always loved it. Oh, and um, Jennifer, uh, Shibi Jen Han. I have been following her art since I was 10 years old. <laughs> Dedication. So, yeah, like back in the DeviantArt days. So to see her now make it out on the comics and be like a big known artist, that she's a great inspiration for me. Awesome. Kevin has very <laughs> kindly pinned people's OCs in the chat, so it's easier to find. I can vouch okay. for the people you just mentioned. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everyone me, is amazing. You as well. I'm going to take a look at the references people sent. <laughs> okay. And as for my last question before we move to the audience, uh, let's just say this is a general question. What is your favorite Sonic game? Oh my God. <laughs> 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 my favorite Sonic game. You sure you want that answer? <laughs> Okay, let me put it easy for you. You can choose three games that okay. you like the most. My favorite, favorite Sonic game would be Sonic 06. <laughs> okay, so hear me out, hear me out. First, that was the game that got me really into Sonic. So I have a lot of nostalgia and care for Sonic 06. Uh, I also really love the original soundtrack and I don't know why people don't like the story, but I really like it. I find it interesting. All the time travel shenanigans. I really like those. But if I had to go on um, liking every aspect of the game, I think I would go for Unleashed or Frontiers. Oh, go with it, games. I mean, I'll, yeah. be honest, I'll be honest with you, 06 has many things that I like. It has its moments, but uh, let's be real. It's the one game that we got Best Boy Silver. So that's mm -hmm. W, a massive W. Yeah. yeah. And let's be real, uh, in general, it has the best render I've seen so far of Sonic. And the soundtrack is just a bop. Like, it's very awesome. So in general... 06 is great. It has its moments, but it's great. I agree. I really like 06. I'm really happy that it's getting more attention now, may, may, mainly with the pre-06 project. I'm, re I'm so excited for it. <laughs> like, yeah. I haven't even played any of the demos because I am waiting for the full game to be out so I can experience it in its full glory. <laughs> oh, yeah. Project uh, um, PO6 is actually goaded. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like it. And I'm so excited to see a project like that, bringing more love to such a, a dear game to me. So, <laughs> yeah. 
All right. So let's start with the audience questions. I see the Radar is very excited to be with us. So come right up, Radar. <laughs> You're darn too not excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, Radar. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, I am no. I I am certainly no stranger to uh, D's content, and I am certainly no stranger to D because we've interacted once in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> A total of one time, and now I get to say two times. Finally, world record. <laughs> uh, how are you doing, D? How How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited to be here and I'm like, excited to answer everyone's questions. And I, I think this is going well, so I'm excited. Sure, everyone else is just as excited. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I have a question plan just because um, there are a lot of creatives in the Sonic space that I do want to get to know better personally. Just so I can get a feel for what they're like as a Sonic fan. Obviously, you know, you just said your favorite, um, you know, amongst favorite games, 06, which, you know, is based. I really like Wave Ocean's music. Just saying. Let's go. Um, <laughs> I really do like Wave Ocean. Um, and then, you know, Unleashed and Frontiers, which, you know, again, respectable, very respectable. Um, <laughs> however, I, I like to go. I like to take things a little bit more in depth when it comes to Sonic. People. <laughs> if if you know you know audience um so for my first question to you hopefully it won't be my only question what is your favorite location from the world of sonic it can be any level any zone any hub world from the games or uh, places from the idw comics even just you know whatever you can think of that you personally like as a sonic setting that's a very interesting question. So interesting that I never thought of it. <laughs> this um, is why I like to bring it up. <laughs> I think right on the top of my, ve uh, of my head, I think I got two places. I would say the first one would be Soliana because uh, well, it yeah. is just beautiful. Soliana, just the name Soliana is so beautiful. I love it. Why and isn't it is so beautiful? Yes, I absolutely adore Soliana. It's so pretty. And honestly, I think most of the levels in 06 and the level design, everything looks amazing, in my opinion. Not not graphics-wise, but the ideas, I think it's all very pretty. But going on more recent events, I would say that I find um, Tanglestown very interesting. I I am not done with the comics, neither am I caught up in them. But from what I've seen from Tanglestown, I I I like the characters in it. I like the little stories. I think it's a very interesting concept. <laughs> My microphone cut off, and I was saying, yeah, Spiral Spiral Hill Village. It is it is a wonderful yeah. place. I, there is one resident there from Spiral Hill that I really like. And it's not even like one of the main characters. It's a character that Evan created. Um, but yeah, Spiral, Spiral Hill's great. We haven't seen it in a while now that I think about it. I'm, I think I don't, I forgot where I stopped. Uh, I stopped at the, the chow race with clutch. I think that's his name. Ooh. So Ooh, you, you got quite a bit to catch up on then. At I that do. Point. I'm like, reading the comics with a friend, so we don't always read every day, and so it's taking us a while to catch up, but I, I'm very excited no. to read the well, rest. At, at least you made it past Metal Virus. That's, that, that's, that's your milestone there. You made it past it Metal Virus. It was so good. It was so good. Uh, freaking uh, the chapter where Vector sacrificed himself got me oh, tearing no. up. Oh, no. I am not gonna lie. That that oh, actually no. got me tearing up. <laughs> Richie, Richie, stop hearing. No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Richie. I'm so oh, sorry. Yeah, so, no, the, the whole stories with the chaotic <laughs> and everything, they're my favorite in the Metal Virus, and it's just... Uh, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, they're really great. Uh, waiting, think, waiting, for that, waiting for that game adaptation soon. <laughs> game oh yes when is our metal virus game when do we oh my gosh or 
just, 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 oh my gosh. Or just bring IDW over to the games. We're, we have name mentions. We're getting closer. I would love that. All right. Yeah. So, will that answer your question, Raider? Yes, that does. Uh, thank, thank you, D. Thank you so much. Yeah, this, you. this is thank great. You. I can't wait for the rest of the fun. <laughs> thank you so much. It was nice talking to you. Great question, Raider. Hope to see you later. Woo! <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's continue. You want to choose the next one, D? Uh, sure. Um, mm, can we bring Kevin? Because I'm actually curious. <laughs> it's our boss. It's boss. No, no, Kevin. Hi, Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi. <laughs> so, so, my question is how did you come up with the design for your OK? I, I like it. It's very cute. Uh, before I answer, I'm just going to say that I am starting the the screen share now and I have picked who I am going to draw as, and it must not be a surprise, but I went with Clarity because I have never drawn Clarity and she's very pretty and I wanted to draw her. Um, so yay for Reggie. <laughs> um, as for your question, um, actually, uh, okay, so my sona uh, d she's based of how i look uh, in real life um and not only that but back when i had a human sona uh a lot of people would tell me that i behave like a cat <laughs> specifically like a calico cat because they're very chaotic apparently uh, so when I came to the fandom, I thought the key points would be the red shirt and the orange hair, since those were the iconic qualities of my human Sona. And then when I was thinking of what little critter I could make my Sona, I thought of how all my friends uh, were <laughs> with the calico place so it just made sense to make her a calico cat and that's how she became what she is <laughs> oh that's an interesting story well i i do i do like my design and keep up the great work with your artwork thank you so much thanks for your question kevin okay so rio you want to choose the next one okie dokie aurora let's go hey hello, hello. hi hi hello okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just, uh, just so many people, a lot of people, uh, just starting to get my voice back. Um, uh, so, uh, a lot of people, um, find like in the fandom, uh, you know, like a community. Um, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to know, uh, what inspired you to go and create like, your own welcoming kind of like wholesome community within the fandom. Cause you know, that takes a lot of work and effort and like what inspires you to keep bringing people together in your own way. Um, in, in, in your community. Okay. So, uh, that, that's kind of a mixed sad slash happy story. So when I came back to the fandom, cause I, I, I have been into Sonic since I was very young, like, uh, five years old. And I joined the fandom when I was around 10. Uh, I eventually left and came back in 2022, I think. And I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what people were doing in the fandom anymore. So I tried to join a few servers to meet people and make friends. And sadly, I didn't have the best experience on those servers like there were a lot of problems and i didn't appreciate that so after leaving those places i for a while i stood like alone and then i thought okay so if i didn't get along with those places why not make my own and that's where the whole community and discord server and twitch and bubble concept came from because i just really wanted to make a safe place for as many Sonic fans as I could. A place filled with positivity and just overall support and love because I think that's very important. And yeah, I, I just made a silly server and it popped off. <laughs> it, it really just really worked out, I would say. 
definitely a place that I love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad. I'm very glad a lot of people find comfort in it. And that that being said, anyone that is here uh, is welcome to shoot me a DM and I will send you an invite for it. We're a cute, loving community. <laughs> <laughs> Does that answer your question, Aurora? Yes. Much love, much energy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okie dokie, I think it's your turn, D. My turn, my turn. Uh, mm, it's snooty. <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> Come right up, Snotty. Oh, wait, hold on. We we got a Discord moment. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not, we a, got not a on my watch. <laughs> not on my watch. There we go. <laughs> not a Hello. Discord moment. <laughs> uh, Hello. Hi. Hello. All right. So uh, you've mentioned you've mentioned that you are a Twitch streamer. Uh, mm -hmm. What? I'm one not I'm wondering, uh just a just a bit of a curiosity. Uh who's your favorite streamer and uh, uh why is it me? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm the, <laughs> the second part. Um I actually I don't really engage with the Twitch community. I have never watched streamers, I have never even had a Twitch account. The only reason uh -huh. I became a streamer was because my community wanted to see me on Twitch. So that's kind of how I got on Twitch and started looking at my mutuals Twitch too. But I I never really interacted with Twitch content, so I don't I don't really have a favorite streamer. <laughs> if okay. I if I had if I yes. Yeah? <laughs> Go ahead. All right, cool. Um Follow-up question: Where were you on November seventh, twenty twenty-three? Only one question. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was a joke question. But yeah, <laughs> if, if if that makes you happy, I have no idea where I was. <laughs> Does that answer your question, Snotty? <laughs> it's Snotty, <moody>, but yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks for your question. <laughs> Okay, I believe it's my turn, or is it your turn, Ria? I have no idea. I don't <laughs> even know. Okay, you know what? I'll I got, I don't know what we are. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, Mini Miney, the Nintendo group, come right up. Hello, hello, hello. All right, hello. I honestly was not expecting it to be this quick. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> All right. So my question. Uh, for D is um, what music do either you or your original character like to listen to? Um, I am very, um, how would I say, uh, ver versatile is that word? Um, I listen to pretty much anything that sounds good. <laughs> so I do lean more towards uh, rock and uh I think I would say the things that I listen to the most would be either rock or Vocaloid, but I pretty much listen to anything that catches my interest. <laughs> All right. And that, that would be the same for my character. All right. That answers my question. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your right, you're welcome. <laughs> We've got I quite a few like, a... text questions as well. Yeah, we have text questions. Allow me to read one for you okay so there you game in corner asks hello d is there um i'm sorry they're asking who is your favorite sonic voice actor tv show movie or video game um mm, i think maybe i would go with shadows prime voice actor i i don't know their name uh but i Matt think yeah I think their performance was the perfect balance between like sounding mysterious and dark, but also having a personality and character, which is what I feel like Shadow is lacking a lot of times. And I would say Prime Shadow would be my favorite portrayal of Shadow. So I really like his voice actor in it. And, and any favorite show besides uh, besides Prime, like I believe they ask 
show, comic? Oh, um, mm, uh, no, I would say Prime is actually my favorite Sonic show. Uh, weirdly enough, I, I was never able to get into the shows. I've tried watching Sonic X, I've tried watching Sonic Boom, but I never finished them for some reason. But Sonic Prime was the first one that actually got me on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> well, yeah. Thanks for your question, sir, your gaming corner. Uh, Thank Rio, you. you want to read the other questions? Yeah, I can do. Let me find the text. That intend. Okay. As so Nate says, Heidi, aside from Shadow, who is your favorite Sonic character in any Sonic <laughs> media? So it could be games, coming movies, TV shows, etc. No oh, Shadow. No, they <laughs> took Shadow <laughs> away from I, me. I relate to that so much. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Shadow is best. Okay, aside from Shadow, mm, honestly, I really like Sonic. <laughs> I like how he's cocky and snarky, but also he's clearly very intelligent and he's funny. He's so funny. <laughs> I think he's funny. Uh, yeah, I would say I really like Sonic. If not Sonic, then Silver. I like how he's like more. He feels more human to me, more flawed. And I like that. Just in general, Hello. Sonic is a goober. That's only Sonic is a goober. Yeah, I love Sonic so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for your question, Nate. Uh, let's see. You want to choose the next one via, you know, voice D? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I see Bolt has their hand raised for a while, so we can go with Bolt. Come right up. Hi, Bolt. Hello, hello. 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 Well, we'll be Glad to be here. I'm happy to have you here. <laughs> yeah, so my question was, do, do you like have a favorite Sonic form? Uh, favorite Sonic form? Um, mm, mm. I, I think I'm being basic here, but I really love Super Sonic. Just plain and classic. I think he's so great and he's so strong and I always get like happy when he appears. He's so cool. I don't know. Uh, I remember in Frontiers when I played the um, the first Titan battle the first time. I was literally jumping like a little kid and telling my partner, "Oh my god, he's so cool! He's so cool!" <laughs> so if not supersonic, then maybe the Werehog because I think that's an interesting concept. But yeah. I would say I would say Supersonic is definitely my fave. I love seeing him every time he pops up. Yeah, Supersonic is gold. Yeah, I would love to see more attention on uh, different forms, though, because I do feel that they overuse Supersonic a little. <laughs> yeah, I, feel, I also feel like they underuse the Werehog. Yeah, I mean, Werehog was used under very specific circumstances, so... I like don't see how they the Archie comics. Yeah, I don't see how they could use him again, but I would sure love to see it. Same. All right, and that pretty yeah, much what? answers my question. Thank um, you. Thanks for your question, boy. Right, you're welcome, and bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Back into the shadow realm. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that word to me. <laughs> You yeah, know I had to. <laughs> <laughs> no. Head of the hedgehog. Right. We love it. <laughs> All right, Rio, it's your turn. Yay. She's the next victim. I mean, the next person. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Because we have a slip oh, of the web no. there. Um, <laughs> I'm going to choose a red chi. Is, is that B? Is that B the queen? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. It's my queen. <laughs> It's it's the girl. There, I, here I am now. Hello. Oh no! Hi. You have you have caught up to me. So yeah. What will be your question? Okay, so my question is: I think I asked to someone else this, but I'm gonna ask you ask it here too. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, imagine D for some reason appears in the comics. What would she be doing? Or how would she be introduced? 
Um, I think I have a bit of lore with this, uh, with two of my friends. I think if she was introduced uh, in the comics, she would be the little rookie that has no idea what they're doing, but they really want to help. <laughs> so, like, I feel like Dee would join the re the um, the resistance because she wants to help people and make the world a better place, and she doesn't know how. So, joining the res the resistance would be like, okay. Help me do this thing. I want to be here. I want to be useful. But she would pretty much be useless, at, at least before her arc. <laughs> uh, I think it would be like one of those bittersweet things uh, where she's trying to help, but she doesn't know how, but eventually finds her place in the resistance. And, you know, <laughs> you know how that goes. Nice, nice. I love that. <laughs> I, I, I honestly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh no, no! I was just commenting how all that little lore started out as fun, and now we have a whole AU with Shadi and everything. And mm -hmm. I, I don't know how we got to that point. <laughs> That's how good stories start. <laughs> I can tell you from experience. <laughs> also. Uh, Thank oh. you for answering my question. And thank you. I thank you. And thank you for drawing the bee. <laughs> <laughs> I love your art. I, I still love you. you. Sorry, sorry, don't so worry. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye bye. <Ready? laughs> okay. Oh. All right. I Hello. think it's my turn. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's like for, I don't know. It's like for, it's, Discord has this thing that when when you're supposed to speak and then there like there is this delay. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I believe it's your turn, D. It is my turn. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, who's this person? Ah, uh, it's someone with the name J. J. Is it just J? <laughs> I J think it's just J. Oh, J. L. Dross. I think so. I can't see it. I just can't see like J and Comas. I I see somebody with a letter J. L. Dross. It's, it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a it's a purple a purple profile. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I yeah. don't know why I can't see their username. Hello there. Hello. Hello, hello. I uh, hope y'all are doing well. Uh, <laughs> uh, I asked my question. Hey, that's me, that's me. Uh, I asked my question is, I know earlier you were like discussing uh, artists that you really look up to and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. But is there like a specific piece, like rather than a drawing or a piece of media, like a game or a show? That's not Sonic related. <laughs> um, that you really uh, take inspiration from with your work. That isn't Sonic related. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if it is Sonic, then that's totally cool. Um, honestly, I think I would have to go with Steven Universe. Uh, mm. Yeah, Steven Universe is my second main interest. Uh, not in like I am not active in the fandom, nor do I interact with it at all but uh, i i followed the development of steven ever since it began i don't know why it caught my attention but i i was there pretty much since the start and i grew up with steven in a sense i think i was uh 13 when it first came out and i was 20 <laughs> when it ended so it was a wild ride I really love the art style. Actually, my human art style is heavily inspired from Steven Universe and just the colors and the backgrounds. And honestly, even the music, the music is such an inspiration, like the vibe it gives. Often I will be working even on commissions and stuff and I'll, I will be listening to Steven Universe music. <laughs> it is very good. Yeah, I, I totally get it. Like, even if you don't like fully engaged with the fandom like something about the artwork for it uh it's just it's so gorgeous with this watercolors and very yeah. uh, well, like pastel palette it's really nice 
One of the favorite gifts I've gotten from my partner is the Steven Universe art books. They're oh. stunning. They're absolutely stunning. And the way they created everything to see the process, I feel like it's such an honor. Well, thank you. And thank you for sharing. I really appreciate that. <laughs> thank you for asking. Thank you of for course. your question, Yale. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's, yeah, I believe it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's see let's choose i see a very cool dude in, the, in here come right up drowsiest oh gosh <laughs> oh you drowsy. see i treat you well i treat why you, you well. why did you say like that rio <laughs> oh no i'm joking, I'm joking. no <laughs> you mean yes <laughs> uh, ask a question ask your question yeah. and get out of here <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so i know you answered the steven universe question but like is there other things that um you like outside of the sonic franchise um mm, mm. like a fandom anything any, any media any media um i don't think i have anything in specific besides sonic and steven those are pretty much my main interests like, I have other interests, but they're more like silly little hobbies and not like something I have a strong passion for. Like, oh, maybe we maybe you could switch to like um, uh, favorite hobbies then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have any favorite hobbies? I'm sorry, I didn't catch you. You're asking oh, if I have other hobbies? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I, I love gaming. <laughs> always <laughs> have. It's all, all I've always it, I've always been like either drawing or gaming. Nowadays I don't sadly I don't game as often. I'm I'm a very busy person now since college <laughs> and now uh trying to pursue a freelance career. But whenever I got some time, I'm I'll always find a new game to play. I just find them interesting. I um anything. Right now I'm playing Cult of the Lamb and breath of the wild and they're both amazing i'm loving them um i do play some overwatch sometimes with friends and right now i would say that's pretty much it hmm, that's interesting <laughs> that answer your question yep honestly mm, almost no. The no, one no, question no, is, no 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 get out of here no, 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 no. No, no, no. Get out of here. Bye. Thank you. There you go. Get out. Get out. No more cookies. Oh. No. Oh, no. Every oh, no. Every panel, every silly panel we do, this man is stealing my cookies. No more cookies for you. You had a, a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's uh, okay. I, be I believe it's your turn. <laughs> Me? Uh, <laughs> Wait, my my turn. Oh uh, wait, wait. Who was it? I'm I'm lost. I don't know. Oh my god, <laughs> that's okay. Ryu can go ahead. D, um, okay. you choose uh, the next one, D. <laughs> me, uh, no, okay. Ah, uh, ba, -ba, -ba, ba ba I can't see everyone's usernames clearly for some reason. Ah, uh, I've seen Supersonic is having their hands up for a while, so. Come right up. You should be able to see like a big green button that says join. A mysterious silence. <laughs> Maybe. Don't worry. Maybe. I have. <laughs> they left it up for so long. They've just. <sighs> I had technical issues too. Don't oh, no, worry not, about no, it. We're not, we're not having a Discord moment. <laughs> much. Not That's again. That's not how it works. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hello. 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 Oh, oh dear. Oh, Don't no. tell me the mic's not working. If you oh, oh no, I just left. <laughs> oh no, this gourd. Uh, if you want, you can choose another person while they're ask their question either via text or they can try again later. Okay, uh, let's go with uh, uh. I also can see this person's username, but their username starts with D, and they have a uh, brown. Sonic character on their profile oh, picture. Dino Kaiju. Dino Kaiju. I don't know. I can only see a D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that's the Hello. 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 
All right, great right, seeing everyone here, having a good time here, and already love the yard that we're seeing here. Oh, thank you so much. No problem. All right, so my question. So, having seen your art recently now on your Twitter, I, I did notice already that you not only have this stuff, but you also draw your... um. Sonic, uh, like your, um, the some characters, like, you know, usually, like how we usually see, like, normally. So I have to ask, like, what is, do you have a preference on how you usually draw, uh, characters? Uh, I have a few art style rules, if you can even call them that. Um, I don't know how I would, sh how I would showcase that. Um, I can go on some of my pieces, I think. Uh, I can go here. Uh, say we can use this one. No, actually, this one's look better. Wait. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Let me go back. oh, that one looks cute either way. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so here you can see two things that I always mostly do, which are like key rules for my art style. Uh, first, like this little uh thing i don't know how to call it but like the muzzle going inside not just sitting beneath the eyes i usually make this little curve and also i like to make the eyes coming from inside the muzzle both here and here you see oh, um nice. i also like to do uh mainly on the smiles these little things i feel like it gives more energy i don't know why i do it i simply do um then usually when when there's like a uh, fluff or spikes i don't like i don't like to have a pointy art style like this you know so i usually go to something more like this fluffier <laughs> and and um one could even say bubbly even here with these curves it's like i i don't have a list of rules but i know that i do these things on every single art piece. <laughs> I don't know if that helps uh, understand it better. That does that does help in a way, yeah. Yeah, but that's mostly it. I just uh, usually follow the same uh, key elements on every piece, and I think that's how my art style kind of came to be, in a way. Oh, uh, I see. That's really cool. <laughs> Thank you. No Thanks. problem. Dino Kaiju. No problem, and best of luck with the art piece. <laughs> Thank you. Aggressively taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> feel free, believe, feel free. I, yeah, <laughs> I believe uh, Supersonic. Uh, I'll, I'll say your question in case we have another issue again. So they were asking if what is your favorite Sonic project? My favorite Sonic project? Yeah, like a fan project that you either work on or that you've seen around that has come okay. to your attention. Uh, that would be the PO6 project, but we have already talked about that. Mm -hmm. So I would say uh, maybe the fan annual, which I am actually working on. <laughs> I find that it's a very interesting concept that the fans all come together to celebrate something we all love. And I am so happy I am able to take part in it this year. It's my first fan annual and I'm very excited for it. You'll do great. Trust me. I hope so. <laughs> I have a very good team. I, I'm working with good people and some mutuals that I get along with. So I'm very excited. <laughs> me too. I, I <laughs> hope I can participate for next year. Yeah, you definitely should try out. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's that's their question. Thanks for your question, Supersonic273. Uh, thank Rio, you, thank I, you. I think it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to invite Coolest Kahuna because they've been having that yeah. for a while. Indeed. Hello. Indeed. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much Hello. for the opportunity. Hello. So, for all three of you. What is your favorite part of the Sonic community? The artwork, the community, just anything on your mind. What is your favorite part? Do you go ahead. Uh, 
I would say maybe DOCs and how creative everyone gets with them. Like I see a lot of people giving OCs their own little story and background and and having relationships with the um, the official characters, not even romantic relationships, like just lore. And I find it really interesting how someone can just get so absorbed in their little world and alternative universe i think it's very interesting i i think that's my favorite part of the community that's really nice to hear it is a really creative <laughs> space it is people get so creative with their OCs and the character designs there are so oh my god i sometimes just stop looking at some OCs because they're so pretty i love how creative the fandom is nice to hear nice to hear that will be my question for now Awesome. <laughs> so much for your question, coolest. Thank you, thank you. Okie dokie. Oh, that looks <laughs> ugly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Great. That was great. That was great. Don't worry. You, you, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. D, it's your turn to choose the next one. All right. Let me see. Um, uh, 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 Giovanni. Come right up. Hello. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. I'm incredibly nervous right now. Hello. Oh, okay. You're okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Uh, I did ask the question in text, but I will ask here. Uh, D, you have the characters you like, and you certainly have the characters that you hate, but what is a character in the in the story that you look and you're like why do you exist hmm. um gamma i think that's the only character i ever wondered what they were doing here <laughs> but oh. i don't i don't i don't often get those feelings or those questions i i tend to find beauty in every character I find it interesting how every character has their own thing going on. Uh, only speaking about official characters, because I don't really... I've never read the Archie comics, so I don't really know them. But speaking of like game characters and IDW characters, I, I wouldn't say I ever thought that with, every, with any character in specific. So Gamma would probably be the closest guess, but still not really, if that makes sense. No, it makes absolute sense. <laughs> it really <laughs> does. Uh, I'm glad. That's the big, uh, at least for me. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, big. Oh, I like big. I think, I think he's a fun comic relief. Also, just like a fun little comfortable guy. You know, I, I don't think maybe before. But even on Heroes, I could see his point. He was just like that big old silly guy that's just there to be funny and cute, you know? I, I've never really yeah. had any issue with Big. No, I... Well, at least I don't feel really connected to him. I like him too, but purpose. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, that was... My question, I'm really happy that you answered, and I love your art, so... <laughs> Thank you so all. much. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so much for your question, Giovanni. It was nothing. Have fun, guys. You too. Thank you. Okie dokie. Let's see. I believe it's your turn, Rio. Is it? Oh, I thought it was... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you know okay. what? Let's do it, let's do it this way. First is gonna be D, then you, and then me. Okay. Then, yeah, perfect. <laughs> so we don't get confused. Okay, wait. So it's me then. Yeah. Okay. Let's bring up Kaigo. Hello. Hi, Kaigo. Hey Hello. Uh, I can't really think of a question, but I guess one. If you have, I guess, watched the movies. Uh, what are your opinions on them? Um, I'm. I wasn't a really big fan of them, and I still don't think I am. But they're fun. Like, they're its own thing. And I will admit I got very, very excited when I, got, when I saw Supersonic on screen. 
but I I think they don't it's a different take, you know. I would like to see movies where we are dealing with the canon Sonic from the games. It's a fun little alternate universe, but I am not gonna go crazy over it, if that makes sense. I, I didn't really even really watch the Knuckles show. I mean, I, I watched it, but also at the same time I didn't because I couldn't pay attention. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's all right. It's not bad. Yeah, that's totally fair. <laughs> Will that answer your question, Kygo? Yes, it does. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for asking your question. Have yeah, fun. No problem. Good luck with the art, buddy. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's my turn. Uh, let's bring Radar because he has been there for a while. <laughs> oh, no. Come right up. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, it seemed like I was the uh, the last one having a question up. So I assume that we're now on round two. Yeah. <laughs> At least I thought so. We're now back to where we started. <laughs> Has it been an hour? Yes, it's... But they got, uh, uh, oh, <laughs> back it's, at it again. It, Thank you, Rechi, for taking the words right out of my mouth. Oh, it's been an oh. hour already. Yeah. <laughs> Time flies so fast when we're having fun, huh? <laughs> but yes, hi, I have returned. I have returned, and I do have another question that was uh, planned as the first one. Okay, hit me. So, I talked about favorite... I talked about uh, just favorite locations in Sonic's World. Now I'm going to do something I, u I would usually ask anyone I encounter in the community. Um, what is your favorite bad Nick? Out of the, any of the, out of many of the things that Eggman has created, what is your favorite robot? Does Belle count? <laughs> I mean, I mean, technically, yes, she does. Yes, and honestly, yeah. you're actually the first person who's responded with Belle as an answer. I don't recall any specific bad Nick right now. <laughs> I mean, I can I can recall them in my mind, but I don't remember their names. I think. Maybe that little uh, bee one. That's not a bee. That's a wasp. <laughs> you know which one I'm talking about? A buzz bomber. Uh, wait. Let me check. Actually, actually. blue looking one. Wait, buzz bomber. It is yellow. Then it's probably the buzzer. Nah, it, yeah, it's it's the yellow one. Buzzer. It's probably the buzzer from buzzer Sonic, Sonic Two. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it's buzzer. Yeah, the buzzer. Okay. Yeah, I, I would say that's that's the most iconic to me, I think. Fair enough. Uh, but uh, yeah, you also said Belle is an answer, huh? Yeah, she was surprisingly the first thing that came to my mind. I mean, she I mean, no, come on, we 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 do. We like her story here at Revolution. We like her. her no, spoilers. no spoilers, no spoilers. I I don't but know her do. story yet. Spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. Just promise. No, not happening. No spoilers. But we do <laughs> like Belle around here. We do really like her. I actually just met her, I think. I think I just met her. Uh, like uh, where I'm at in the comics. I think I got to the f to the comic where she is introduced. Yeah, Chow Races. You said uh, yeah, that is her debut. Um, yep. And I and I and if you like and if you liked her then, then I do think you'll like her for the stories going forward. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I will. <laughs> mm. But yes, but oh my gosh. Yeah, that that's that's two answers I've gotten that I haven't gotten <laughs> before. Literally no well, yeah. Little box Sorry, of surprises. <laughs> Surprise to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm a big nerd on uh, all those robots and everything. So yeah, I appreciate those answers. <laughs> I appreciate you asking for your question, Radar. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's read a few text questions because there's a lot of them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, would you like to read some of them, Rio? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Let's go for Kelsifer. Is there a particular art piece you've made that was most complicated, but was worth it in the end when seeing the final piece? Mm, yeah, definitely. Um, let me see if I have it here, actually. Um, I actually, 
I can't show it yet <laughs> because I think that would probably be my latest art piece that I haven't posted yet, but I can show another one in the place of that one. So where is it? Oh, shoot. Where is it? Oh, this one. This one Great. was a gift. It's a gift art I did for my friend, uh, Galaxy Lover 06. Uh, it was supposed to be just a silly sketch. It was literally just going to be a silly sketch. But I looked at it and I said, this looks too good to not be a fake cover. <laughs> so I ended up making a full render out of it and making like a a fake IDW cover. And I think this is one of my best renders yet. Uh, and the new one that I'm going to post probably tomorrow or next Tuesday uh, is also one of the ones I'm the most proud of. But I'm still uh, touching up some last minute details, so I'm not going to go into it just yet. Um, OK. Oh, uh, D, do you want to pick uh, the next person? Mm -hmm. In the audience? I am only seeing one person with That's their fine. hand up. Uh, that would be Drowsiest. Yeah, we'll get him back. Let's go. Welcome back, Drowsy. I am back. Wait, you're, you're not mad at me this time, Rio? <laughs> no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, Rio. Um, do you got any like um top three through five best Sonic games that you played so far? Top three Sonic games. Yep. Uh Sonic Frontiers. Okay. Sonic Unleashed. Ooh. And the third one is. Mm. <laughs> What's the last one? Because I okay. Can can I make it a tie? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Okay, I I think I would say the third one would be a tie between O six and Sonic Generations because. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. So hear me out. Generations is more fun to me on a gameplay wise but if i want something more story immersive i i'm gonna have more fun with 06 and also all the side quests i think add like more interest to the game because you got a lot more things to do i feel like the side quests on sonic generations are a bit boring and repetitive so if we're going only gameplay wise, that would be generation. If I'm going for the full experience, I would go with 06 as a third. That is a hot take, though. Well, it take is. It. <laughs> I don't speak about my favorite games on Twitter because they're hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. Don't worry. That's fine. I won't. I, I won't bite. I, I don't bite. Don't worry. I don't bite. Please yeah, don't. Right. <laughs> yeah. Don't. I will bite Rio though sometimes. But. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, get him, get him out of here. Thanks, thanks, thanks for answering out. the question. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Go back to the chat realm. All you right, cookie time. No, oh, no, you oh, wow. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. Thank you, Rio. <laughs> you said the word again. <laughs> no, he, no, no. Those, 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 the, he's the only person he's not allowed to to eat my cookies. Everyone else is, but not him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, don't worry. Everybody's welcome. Uh, sorry, guys. I had to quickly grab my charger because my latte was about to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh -oh. fine. All right. So I believe it's my turn to read another question. Yep. All yep. right. So let's see. We got, uh, let's see, because I don't want to read the questions that we already got. Uh, let's see. Oh. There we go. Uh, D, this is from Blue Dasher 97. Uh, they're <laughs> asking uh, if you have any previous favorite character prior to Shadow, or if Shadow has been the only character that has been interesting to you. Silver. Silver was actually my first favorite character because of 06, since it was my first game. So for a very long time, Silver was my favorite character. And I actually didn't really like Shadow. <laughs> I thought he oh, was edgy no. and annoying. <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know how the switch happened. It was actually when I came back to the fandom. So 
I left in 2016 and up until that point silver was my favorite and when I came back in 2022 I suddenly liked Shadow. I, I have no explanation for it. He's just so freaking cool. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah prior to Shadow it was silver. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest. I didn't like Shadow either. Even even uh, like for the whole thing with uh, Sonic Adventure 2, I didn't like him. But after mm. a while, getting used to it and stuff, mostly with Prime, uh, yeah, I started to like Shadow more. <laughs> I, re I really don't know what was the switch for me because I, I started liking Shadow before Prime. So I don't know what did it. I think I, think I just got a better understanding of his character with age, I would say. Because back then I just thought he was edgy just because. And now I, 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 I can't understand his character, you know. I think that makes a whole lot of difference. Yeah. Well, yeah, thanks for the question. Uh, oh, I forgot their name. Holy, oh dear. Ah, uh, Blue Dasher. Oh, Blue Dasher 97. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, D. Well, I don't see another hand, so... I don't know if you're able to see the pin questions. Uh, Wait. We can uh, always read them out if that's easier. Yeah. Yeah, you can read them out, please. <laughs> All right, sure. Okay. Uh, Rio, then it's your turn. Okay. So a question by Tim, who has an amazing profile picture, by the way. Yeah. Um, hey, my question is, who is your favorite Sonic character design-wise and why? Is it the colors, the details? Let me know. Mm, design wise Surge Surge has such a cool design I don't know what it is about her I think it's a mix of the colors the outfit and just the overall vibe she she has like that brat vibe <laughs> and she just she's got it you know everything about her says I am here <laughs> you know um I <laughs> I think it's just a mix of everything. She has that spiky hair, spiky feet, uh, the, the contracts between the greens and the blacks. Uh, I think design-wise, Serge would be my favorite. She's got a very cool design. Yeah. Thanks for your question, Tim. Thank you. Once again, amazing picture, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the, the little <laughs> the thumbs up <laughs> yeah. that's, little, that's literally the best thing I've ever seen so far <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay let me read the other questions let's see uh, I let's see let me just get something that I haven't answered yet oh okay uh, there is another person called V as in Victor they're asking what is the first feature that you draw when you're drawing a character, so if it's the eye, the 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 head, the hands, what do you do uh, first? It's uh, the muzzle, like a, a a mix of the muzzle and the eyes. It really depends on the piece, but usually I draw the muzzle first. Uh, like if it's the thing that sits on top, and then I draw the eyes on top of it, and then I incorporate the eyes inside the muzzle. So it's like I kind of have to do both at the same time, but giving priority to the muzzle so I can see where the eyes will sit. And that's where I start. Then the rest just kind of flows. Usually I go with the placement of the ears, then like the head fur, but the key elements for me are the muzzle and the eyes. Amazing. <laughs> so, thanks for your question, B. Uh, Rio, do you want to read the next okay. one? So, a question from Sparks. What is your favorite piece of Sonic music in the series? Oh my god. Um, I think 06, actually. A uh, big tie between 06 and Frontiers. But I think 06 wins. I have listened to the 06 soundtrack on loop for years and now that frontiers came out i'm listening to the frontier soundtrack on loop <laughs> um i think those are the strongest sonic original soundtracks even though that's the one thing sonic never failed at soundtrack uh most of the games have always been amazing 
But yeah, I would go with Sonic 06 or Sonic Frontiers. Heck, both. <laughs> you see, that's the thing where I agree with you. Both. <laughs> <laughs> both. Both are great. They are. Oh, I, I love... I, I am sorry. <laughs> but no, okay. I love on Sonic 06, uh, the end of the world. The way that every character has like a specific instrument and they kind of just build up as you go. And when you get to Shadow, that's the, the last Chaos Emerald. It's just kind of an explosion of everything. And I think it's amazing. Yeah, it definitely is. Well, yeah, thanks for your question, Sparks. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see, I think it's my turn. Uh, let's see, from Gwen. They're asking if... Let's see. Apart from calico cats, uh, what is your favorite type of of cats? I love mm. this. <laughs> oh, I love. Oh, what are they called? Oh my god. Um. Oh, I forgot their name. Crap. Describe, describe them. It's like a cat that behaves like a dog, and they're huge and fluffy. Oh, the um, uh, the cart Maine Coons. The main oh, sorry. It's the Maine Coons. Yeah, I oh, love Maine Coons. Yeah. And if not Maine Coons, then Ragdolls. But Maine Coons, I, they're so pretty. Oh, I love them. They're so fluffy. They're cute. <laughs> they're absolutely they're adorable. Cute. Yeah, they're definitely... All cats are valid and cute. Yeah, they yeah. are. Everyone is cute. <laughs> 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 All right. This is my favorite question. <laughs> <laughs> what's your thanks favorite for, type of cat <laughs> yeah <laughs> thanks for your question gwen uh it's your turn rio we actually have a voice one from aurora again Ooh, I'll okay pop on <clears throat> welcome 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 hello uh, again so if you if you could have one piece of collectible sonic merchandise from anywhere what would it be mm, um maybe oh yes i know uh you know those uh first four figure statues i would love one of shadow i think it would be so cool uh i f i think he has two one of uh regular shadow and one of super shadow uh I don't know if he has more than those, but I know I know he has at least two statues, and I I would love to have one of them. <laughs> of course, I, I'm biased towards Shadow. <laughs> awesome. That was my question. <laughs> Is it did it answer it? Is that a good? <laughs> yeah. Thank awesome. you. Okay. So, uh, Kenny has disappeared once All more. Right. Oh, Kenny is back. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah let's uh yeah i think it's my turn reading a question yeah let's see who else do we have uh soda cat is asking d how many sonic comics do you know or have read from you know, aside from idw any opinions on eclipse and scourge i have i think i tried to read the Archie comics like once and I only got to issue two or three uh, so I don't really have any opinion on other comics beside the IDW uh, opinions on Scourge and Eclipse um, I don't know them but they seem chaotic and uh, like mm, like those type of villains that they're scary in theory, but they're like just a little dumb, <laughs> you know, like they didn't clearly they didn't plan everything out and something goes wrong because of it. I think that's the vibe they give off. Um, but apart from that, I don't really know them nor what they are like. Oops, sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's fine. Well, well, I highly suggest whenever you have time to read them because personally, I like Scourge's story so much. I know a little bit about it, but not not much, not even enough to comment on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, thanks for your question, Soda Cat. Um, thank you, thank Rio, you. I believe it's your turn. Yeah, 
Okay, so this is from Miss Snooty. Um, what is your favorite Sonic story? Whether it's a game, episode of a cartoon, arc in a comic, what Sonic plot would you consider your favorite? I keep going back to the same thing, but I would say 06. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just really I, got that place in your heart. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is, but I really like mainly Shadow's story on 06, uh, the whole discovery thing and how the world will turn against him and he just kind of has to deal with it and i also i really really like stories with uh time travel and 06 has a lot of it and i don't know i just think if it like sonic's story isn't all that interesting he's just doing kind of a cat and mouse run type thing but I think Silver and Shadow can hold that game on their own pretty well. Uh, and I would say 06 would be my favorite story. It, it would be better if it, if it was a little more perfected out, but I would still say it's pretty much my favorite. Um, if not for 06, um, perhaps, perhaps Black Knight. Black Knight is very good, too. Oh, that. <laughs> I can vouch for that one, too. Black Knight <laughs> is very good. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for your questions, Nodi. I believe it's my turn again. Mm, let's see. So, I think... I'm, I'm not sure if you answered this before, but Kaigo is asking, what would be your favorite game that includes Shadow? That has Shadow. I keep going back to the same thing. It would be 06. Only <laughs> <Sonic> 06. <laughs> it would be 06. I think at this point, I think at this point, now everybody knows. Uh, yeah, she's just gonna choose 06. Why are we surprised? <laughs> mainly, mainly, I would say, uh, game wise, 06 was Shadow's best performance, in Definitely. my opinion. <laughs> so. If we're talking specifically about Shadow, I gotta go on 06. Yeah, I would say <laughs> I would say it's 06. Okay. <laughs> I am so yeah, sorry wait, if that's yeah, not I'll, the answer you want. Oh, no, no, don't worry. I'll be, on, I'll be honest with you. That one line from him saying, you know, if the world chooses to become my enemy, I fight like I always have. Will be forever the one yes. thing I'll be with him. Yes, he's so Friendly. cool. <laughs> like, really cool. That was literally the coolest thing I ever seen Shadow do. <laughs> yep, yep. And the way he just takes off his rings. I wish he would do that again. They don't use that gimmick enough. That yeah, was they so should, cool. Yeah, they should make uh, Shadow, like, take off his Inquiver rings more often. That That is very mm -hmm. awesome. I second that. Sega, if, you, if you're listening, please make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> please, 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 Mr. Eggman, let Sega hear about this so we can have that. Thank you. I mean, we are on the year of shadows, so we never know. Just praying that we got that on, <laughs> you know, on the Sonic and Shadow Generations game. Oh, that would be so cool. Oh, yeah. Please, Sega. <laughs> okay, thanks for your question. Uh, we have one person raising their hand. Would you like to choose them, Rio? Uh, yeah, we'll we do that. <laughs> Come on, Dino Kaiju, get back over here. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Oh no. Oh no. There is no way. We're, no, no we sound. were doing so well without a Discord moment. Don't do this to me now, Discord. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. Discord's at it again. Oh, oh no, they did it again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had to do it. You know, I had oh to. Oh my god, that's oh. fair. I'll, I'll give you I that know. one. If you want, if you want, we can try again. Uh, uh, with you and raising your hand again. Let's wait for them. There we go. Try again. How about now? Oh no. Oh no no no. I'm oh. going to complain. I'm going to complain <laughs> to this core and tell them how dare you. How dare you do this to it's me? It's totally right worded now. email. We could look at some written questions while they see if they can fix it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we only have like one question left from the text. So let's see. Uh, uh, okay. I'll, re I'll read it. It's from Doctor. They're asking if 
if you remember the first character like your original character that you ever drawn before um i mean would that include my own ofsies question mark because i'm pretty, I'm pretty sure yeah i think so yeah my first The first ever OC I drew was my first ever Sona, and it was a recolor of Amy Rose. <laughs> <laughs> not not exactly recolor, but pretty much I just grabbed the Sonic X screenshot of Amy Rose, and I like I traced it on <laughs> on freaking paint, MS Paint, and. I turned her into a blue cat. It pretty much looked like Amy Rose, but it was a blue cat, like aqua-colored cat. Amazing. <laughs> and that was the first OC I ever drew, and I also shipped her with silver. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, because I, I liked silver back then, so... <laughs> <I'll be laughs> Red, she's saying, every female Sonic character... Like every OC started with Amy. <laughs> no, that that is surreal. Actually, if 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 you were a Sonic fan back in the two thousands, two thousand and your OC started as, as a Sonic X screenshot. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember those. Those were the great days. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, yeah. That, that's that's the question. Thanks for your question, Dodger. Uh, let's try with the people who has their hands up. Let's see if Dino Kaiju is, yeah, he's there again. Let's try again one more time. Oh, the I third know. one is the charm. Hello. Hey, oh, there, there, we go. Go. there we go. That's there we weird. Go. I I'm on my phone this time around, so there's that. <laughs> okay. All right. So my second question this time around uh, for D Since since you seem to be a fan of Sonic 06, I'm quite curious to know, uh, when it comes to that game, do you prefer playing the way it is with the original or some of the fan recreations like Project 06? Uh, I, I have already talked about this before, but I haven't actually played Project 06 yet because I want to wait for it to be uh, fully completed so I can experience it as the full game. So I I don't really know how to answer that since I have only ever played Vanilla 06. But I can say that I'm very much looking forward to playing PO6 and any any other uh, like variation of it with mods and stuff. But as of right now, I've I have only played the original game. Ah, oh, gotcha. That's understandable. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I just really want to get the full experience. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta play the way it is originally. <laughs> True. Yep. That pretty much answers it anyway. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you for the answers, D. Thank you for your questions. Thanks for no your problem. questions. Right. You. Okay, let's see who's next. Uh, D, you wanna choose the next one? Um, we can go with uh, Nervous Maria. Come right up. Hello, hello. Hello. What's up? Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm just doing good, but this cool war is just pretty good. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I like cards. Art is really cool. <laughs> okay. Um, how are you like, really good at this? This is pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, how, are you, how are you doing that? Um, How are you doing that? This is this is kind of like cool. Like you got the hats and the bow, and like the wings. Like I like so. Um, cool. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, so, what what is your question? Oh, um, if you well, what is your favorite Sonic character? Uh, that would be Shadow. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I really like his backstory and overall, like his wait. Uh, oh, that like I I saw like the the shadow series. The shadow series. Yeah, the shadow series, like from the movie. He what? He, he what? I believe, I believe oh, they're talking gosh. a lot about the project Shadow Fan Film. Oh, the fan film. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I have watched it. It it is so fun, actually. It's very good. I hope they do something like that in the actual movie with Maria. 
It was pretty good. Yeah. It, oh, it was so cute and sad. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I like it when the drawing is just clarity. Is that, is that clarity? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's clarity. I wish I want to draw like that. It's it's good. Like I only <laughs> I only have to do I have had to do like um some eye paint. I might mm. I may be really good. I, I well, only do it on my phone. <laughs> well, I I think the best I gotta tell you is to just start and practice. That's what I only that's, do. I only find it on my phone. That that's that's still valid though. Uh, I don't know if you know um Galaxy Level Six. Uh, he also draws on his phone, and he does amazing art. Really? Yeah, there's a lot of phone artists. So being on your phone doesn't mean you can't do great stuff. Just just practice for real. I don't remember which software he uses, but yeah, he's a phone artist. Oh, right. Would that so, answer your question, Nervous Maria? Uh, that that's my answer. No, that's my question. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much no for problem. your question no problem okay thank oh thank you you're welcome okay so we are does have to go so i will be throwing in for her uh at the latter part of this panel um so what what who who just who just chose or whose turn is that uh kenny i uh, I believe, I believe it's, yeah, it's my turn, so... Oh, it's your turn? Okay, so, so you, me, and then, and then D, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, first D, it was uh, you, because it was uh, Rio before, and then it was me. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, okay. Continue. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's your turn. So, I, I, yeah. Oh, no, we're having a Discord moment again? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Kevin! Oh, um, oh, it's my, it's my turn. Oh. Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, guys. I, I am so. I'm so sorry. I, I, I thought it was your, your, your turn there for a moment. It's okay. Uh, let's see. I, I know there was a pen question that I'll out mm-hmm. here uh, from 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 Gwen. Uh, okay, I don't know if this has been asked, but if you had to give one piece of advice to an artist, what would it be? Uh, besides what I've already. Uh, said, which is uh, just practice and experiment and um, get a lot of references. I have a folder with over 2K references that I use uh, often. Um, I think uh, if you're not really used uh, to drawing and you want to get the hang of it, you could even start by um, uh, tracing pieces you like, anatomy you like, uh, even getting down uh, like line weight. That's very important. Uh, you should definitely mess around with your. If you're a digital artist, you should mess around with your settings, your the stability settings, the pressure settings, and see what works for you, what doesn't. See what you like the most in the artists that inspire you what are their key elements and how can you do that if that's what you want to do if you want to find your own style uh then just experiment a lot uh try a pointy art style try a bubbly one try try uh bright colors try less saturated colors uh there's a lot of gimmicks you can have to your art and uh i think the most important thing is to practice and experiment and to not be um of course you can be disappointed but don't let those feelings get to you too much because just because this one artwork didn't come off the way you wanted it doesn't mean the next one the ne- the next one won't and just it's very important to not let those uh, bad feelings get to you and stop you from doing something you love. So keep going. That that's the most I can say. All right. So thank you for for that question. Uh, D, I believe it's your turn now. Okay. Um, oh yeah, D, it's your turn. It's my turn. Uh, we've got Ryan in the audience for for a while now. Oh yeah, uh, sure. Let's choose cool. them. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hello. 
I'm a little sorry about this. No worries. What question? Okay. Yeah. For D. What got yes, you yes. into Sonic? What got me into Sonic? Uh, oh. It was a silly, a silly little game called. Uh, what was it called? Uh, Sonic Flash Adventure or Sonic Whoa. Flash game. It, yeah, it was something like that. It was uh, a random game my dad had on his computer back in 2005, if I'm not wrong, 2005, 2006. He had a, a game called Sonic Flash Play, Sonic Flash Player. It was Sonic Flash Player. He had a game called Sonic Flash Player, oh, which cool. is pretty much. Yeah, it was pretty much a ripoff from Sonic uh, uh, Advance. Uh, and it was so much fun. And I just, uh, I remembered he was called Sonic. So I went on Google and I was like, mm, Sonic the Hedgehog, <laughs> because I wanted to see more. Um, and that's when I saw all the fan art and and videos and games. And it just, it was like a rabbit hole. I just went down. <laughs> And I started drawing him. I started watching the videos like uh, back then it was the Sonic shorts. Um, and yeah, and my dad and my mom saw I really liked Sonic. So they kept buying me more games and that just went on and on. <laughs> Amazing. It's quite a childhood and nostalgic. Yeah, the fact my love for Sonic started with a fan game, it is very interesting. <laughs> fan games are really cool. Yeah, for sure. Well, that answers your question, Ryan. That's all. I, I, for a moment, I thought, oh no, Discord just took, took him away. <laughs> oh, oh, no, well, I, I, <laughs> will assume your question, I will assume your question has been answered, but thanks, thank you for that question, Ryan. Thanks thank you question, so much. Ryan. Alrighty, so I will read another text question. Uh, this is from Supersonic uh, uh, 2073. Uh, their, their last question in the stream for D. Do you like the story of Sonic Colors? I mean, I do. Oh. I, f I think Sonic Colors is more like... Um, I would say it's more like a, a fun little game that I don't take very seriously. Um... It, it's okay for like a side game. I don't think it works as a mainline game, even though it is one and it brought something very important and interesting. That's the Wisps. But the game as a whole doesn't feel like a mainline game. But I like it. It's fun. It's fun. Okay. Well, thank you for that question there, Supersonic. Also, uh, Ultimate Flash on it. They're the, they're the last in the past that I did play. Quite, quite a bit. That brought back a lot, but <laughs> brought back a lot of memory. But yeah, um, Kenny, I I believe. But did you want to come on radar now? Sure. Let's see. Oh, come right up, radar boy number three. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I am back for number three because I have thought of something new to ask. <laughs> go go ahead. So I know you've only gone through IDW thus far, but. I do want to ask um, in regards to, you know, um, just who out of the people that you've seen work on the comic, who is your favorite uh, artist? It could be anyone who's worked on the interiors or the colors or the cover artworks even that you've seen so far uh, reading um, the comic. That would be Evan Stanley and uh, Thomas, Adam Bryce Thomas, I think that's his name. I'm unsure. Um, but yeah, every time I come across an issue with their art, I'm just I'm just very excited because their art is so beautiful. I I especially like how bubbly Evan Stanley makes everything. I think it's it's adorable and and interesting and it gives a lot of charm to the character, I think. I don't think they make them too cute at all. <laughs> I think it's just the right amount. And I love the way they shade. I actually um, am trying out a new type of shading that's uh, very inspired by the way Evan Stanley does it. So, yes, I would say those are my two favorite artists from the IDW comics. So, um, they, 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 they are really cool. They're, they're, they are pretty much, you know, you think of IDW Sonic and you do tend to think of Evan and Adam and their works and such yeah yeah because they're simply good they're they're very good 
Well, that completely answers my question. All right. I think that'll be it for me today. Thank you. Thank you for your questions. Sorry. Thanks for your question, Radar. Okay. All righty. So we we are right now down to two two more pen pen questions. Um, would you would you like to read read that, Kenny? Or did you want me to read, read that next? Since D D can't uh, see them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can read one and then you get the next one. Yeah, so, sure. So we have one from Reshi. She's asking, uh, if you play the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, if not, that's okay. Uh, who would you invite to your party? Like, what role or outfit will D use for for the game if you played it? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch that. Could you repeat the question? Oh, sorry. Of course. So Reshi is asking if you played the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, like you know the visual novel. Uh, mm -hmm. What will be D's uh, party outfit? What will she use? Oh, I never thought of that. Um, hmm. I feel like D is a very androgynous character. Uh, she likes to be kind of neutral, but I think in like um, a fancy setting like those, she would go with a dress. Obviously, a red dress <laughs> because red is her main color, and she would find a way to incorporate uh, her little bell into the dress. Um, so that's what I think she would wear. As for what she would be doing, um, uh, mm, 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 mm. that's interesting. I think she would probably hang out at the library because she's not like. Um, she's very excitable and, uh, uh, she's, she's an extrovert, but she also likes her quiet and in a moment where everyone's being chaotic, she would try to find a peaceful place. So she would probably lean towards the library. That would definitely be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually haven't drawn D in the, in the universe of Murder of Sonic. I don't know how I haven't thought of that. All right, well, new art idea. <laughs> yep, a new thing to the art list. Okay, thanks for your question, Reggie. Uh, let's Thank see. You. Uh, I believe it's your turn, Kevin. Yeah, so Jamie asked, uh, throwing my penny into the fountain of questions, if it's okay. Uh, what favorite song from the Sonic franchise would you want to hear in an, or an orchestrational version of? Oh, that's a good question. Um, uh, probably his world. Uh, I think his world works in a lot of different settings. We have a rock version, we have an orchestral version. Um, and if I was able to see it live, boy, <laughs> I think I would actually cry because it's a very beautiful song. Um, yeah, I think, I think that would be my my final choice yes <laughs> well, good, good choice well hopefully one day that will happen oh i hope so <laughs> oh yeah yeah it doesn't look, look i'm sorry go ahead kenny i didn't mean that oh no you. i was saying thanks for the question that that they they did <laughs> yeah i would just check in so there's no more text questions and no more hand rage uh, did did we want to wrap up this q q and a if there's no more questions, then yeah, sure. Uh, all righty. Um, well, so, was there any anything you would like to say before we wrap up the Q and A? D? Um. Well, let me think. I, if you're interested in my work and you'd like to interact with me some more, um, I have a Discord server in which I'm very active, and it has a very loving community. Very loving community. Um, um, I'm currently working on the fan annual, so look forward to that. I am the solo colorist of my, um, of my team. I do Twitch streamings every week, usually Sundays around this time. And most often I do, uh, art raffles like the one I just did today, which I will have to finish off stream. Um, and that's it. I, I hope you all had fun. I hope I was able to answer everyone's questions and match your expectations. 
and thank you so much for giving me the opportunity of being here this this was very fun i was so excited for this and it it totally delivered so thank you so much well thank you very very much for coming d and thank you everybody in the audience for coming and uh thank thank to rio who had to leave early and kenny for coyote and thank you for suggesting this q a kenny we had a good turnout today my pleasure. Thanks for having <laughs> me as well. <laughs> yeah, of course. And uh, the next Q and A we got is on Tuesday at eight PM Eastern Time. That is with the Hype Buddy. Uh, that will be hosted by Chris and Rockstar. There are another artist here in the community, so we'll see you all then. Ooh, cool. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> all righty then. Thank Bye. you so much, everybody, for being here. And have hope a, you have fun on the rest of your week. And have a good rest of, rest of your Sunday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.